This is called the National Day of the Cowboys celebration. We had a good president one time named George Bush, who in the year 2005 decided that the cowboy should be honored by having a special day of recognition. Now, cowboy means not a gender, but a vocation, God-given talent, a man or woman of the word and integrity and hard work and perseverance. That's why this special day here at the Rio in Granbury, Texas, is to honor all working cowboys and cowgirls. Wish you could be our guest. Hope you will next year. It'll even be bigger and better. I'm Boots Hubbard, reporting from the Rio Brazos. I'm Fred Peters. I'm a storyteller. I live in the uh, great state of Texas. I'm doing a play called Going to Texas, two by two. We hope to have it on the stage here in the next week or two here in Granbury, Texas. It has to do with uh, leaving Virginia and right after the Civil War and arriving here. My great-great-grandfather actually ran the quarry north of town and built and cut the rocks that went on the uh, courthouse here in Granbury, Texas. So I'm kind of excited about that. If you get a chance, come by and see us. I think we're going to be at the Nut House. I live in the Panhandle of Texas near Wellington, halfway between Loco and Ludi. My uh, ancestors came to Granbury and uh, they brought big heavy wagons and actually started a mule team that ran from Granbury to Snyder, Texas. And they hauled freight. Sometimes they'd go all the way down to Sweetwater. My great uncle used to tell me stories about, uh, about growing to Snyder, about the rattlesnakes, and about occasional Indian they'd see out there. But mainly they just hauled freight from Granbury to the Roscoe Schneider Railroad in Schneider, Texas. I'm a storyteller. I tell a lot of stories. And I tell primarily Texas history stories. I'm working on one called the 100th Meridian, which is the west side of the state of Oklahoma. That'd be the east side of the Panhandle of Texas on the 100th Meridian. You can reach me there by going to Facebook, typing in Fred Peters, or you can uh, reach me on My Freddy, and several sites will come up. Be glad to come talk to your group about uh, about Texas history. I also do uh, a lot of Indian uh, Indian stories, uh, particularly about the celestial heavens. So, uh, just about anything you need, I can fix, and. Um, after dinner speeches and so on. So please contact me if you get a chance. You can reach me at myfreddy at yahoo.com. Thank you very much. Hey, good day. My name's Homer Robertson. I'm a uh, chuck wagon cook from Granbury, Texas. Uh, we're out here today celebrating the uh, National Day of the Cowboy at the Rio Brazos Music Hall on 144 South, just south of Granbury. Uh, we're going to talk a little today. We're going to talk a little bit about chuck wagons. Uh, most of you know that the chuck wagon may, uh, was uh, originally uh, the credit goes to a guy named Charles Goodnight, who was a uh, Texas trail driver and rancher, and uh, he needed to take cattle north, but he didn't have a, a, a big enough, uh, didn't have a way of feeding crews that were needed uh, to uh, uh, take cattle up the trail. They needed to take bigger herds. And they had been doing it with pack animals, and you just couldn't carry enough provisions with you. So he went to Weatherford, Texas, and had an army surplus wagon that he used to uh, uh, convert into a chuck box. So he's credited with the original, with the original chuck wagon and chuck box on, on the wagon. Uh, most of you know the story of Lonesome Dove, and that's who the uh, 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 the movie was patterned after by Larry McMurtry was Charles Goodnight. And that was actually the story, although that McMurtry, McMurtry took some liberties with it. They didn't go to Montana, but they actually went to New Mexico and Colorado. William DeBrell, I'm from Granbury. I live about three or four miles down the road. I do all types of leather work, belts, spur straps, billfolds, minor re saddle repairs, uh, chaps, uh, just about anything made out of leather. How can we get a hold of you if we want a belt or a, something other? Uh, phone number is 817-579-6929. You got some nice stuff out here today. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. 
mixed cow baby. I come from Granbury, live on the other side of Granbury, north, north of Weatherford, Texas. I team rope, and they'd show you how to cowboys rope back in the day. Tell me your name. Lonnie Robinson. Lonnie, what are you doing out here today? What well, we come out to be with boats and demonstrate a few pieces of hot iron and a handle. We've been doing this for quite a few years now. Uh, Mike, I apprenticed when I was 14 by a blacksmith out of Salisbury, Indiana, and he was a third generation blacksmith. So little did we know at that age that when we got a little older, just a few years older, you know, that we were going to be out here and actually be doing the blacksmith work. So we do anything from a little old key bob up to if a person wants a piece of wrought iron gate or wine rack, anything of that nature. How can uh, folks get a hold of you? Well, they can reach us through Wagon Wheel Forge, Art and Gallery. Is that a website or? Uh... That is a website. Our uh, phone number is 214-392-5772. And you do all types of different, anything to do with metal? Well, the old blacksmith was known to mend anything from the crack of dawn to a broken heart. Now, I'm not going to lie that much about it, but I try to do it. <laughs> Well, it looks like you're having fun out here today. We're, we're in between, uh, what is it, Granberry and Glen Rose today. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm Gail Tillman. This is my husband, Ed Tillman. We are down here at the Rio on the Brass. It's enjoying a lot of fun with a lot of good singers. We're always looking for good talent. We're having a beautiful time down here. This is a great place, a lot of great stars. Chris Hubbard's down here, better known as Boots and the Gunslingers, and we're having a mighty good time. This is my husband Ed. We raise quarter horses, and miniature horses, and Australian shepherds. And country music and good Christian gospel music. How can we get a hold of you if we want one of them horses or one of them puppies? Uh, you can get a hold of us at uh, Rock and Diamond G, 817 304 4512, or get Rock and Livestock at 817 657 8345. Y'all promote different kinds of music? Yes, we do. We, we promote good country music, classic country music, and even do a little 50s. Good gospel music. All right, y'all have fun today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Walls like that to my goodness, where I'll personally speak to them, that you get a fast, fair, and speedy trial, followed by a first-class hang. No, I ain't going to do that. Or, or, Billy, I know who you are. You're the, the fabulous Billy Kate. Uh, who is that who you, who you got sitting beside you there? This is a great chef. Cook. Cook. Grady Spears. I've heard of Grady. I went out to his restaurant a few, about a week ago. It was like. great, wasn't it? Fantastic. It was right. Tell me, tell me where's the restaurant located? The restaurant is called Grady's Lime Camp and it's in Toler, Texas, which is about 10 miles outside of Granbury, Texas, in north central Texas. A lot of Texas. <laughs> it's beautiful out there. Huh? Big, there's a big stage out behind the place too, right? There is. It's, uh, you know, we, we've, um, we've got 52 acres out there. We've got our gardens. We've got, um, you know, we're two miles off 377. So it's, um, uh, 
uh, a few less restrictions than what you have in the city. Um, you know, we got our water. Um, we tried to raise our own vegetables this year, and, and actually, it's uh, kind of made the food fun again. So, um, and my world's changed quite a bit um, as far as the food and the restaurant world goes lately. So. Well, the menu wasn't very complicated. It was uh, four or five items, but they all look good. It, it, my menus have never been very complicated. They're very, they it was steak very and steak with this and steak with that and just meat. No cans, no microwaves. No, you know, it, it is what it is. And, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's all very fresh uh, food that's made with integrity. And, and um, like I said, no cans, no microwaves. And, and uh, it's good, just simple, very simple Texas comfort food with integrity. What I've heard, uh, you gotta you got to want to get there to get there, but it's worth the drive. Well, most places that are worth being there like that, you know. If they're too easy to get to, they probably wouldn't right. be worth going to. So it's a destination. It is a destination. Every place I've ever done has kind of been either either out in Marathon in the middle of nowhere on top of a bank building where no one would come 35 stories up or you know, in the corner of a shopping center that yeah. nobody knew about. So. Do you have a website where they can uh, find out more about you? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, it's Grady's Lane Grady's Lane Camp. Camp. Or GradySpear.com. GradySpear.com. Well, we want everybody to go uh, check out that website and uh, go see and have a big old piece of meat. Yeah, Please do. No rules. And, and you'll be enjoying some good old cowboy entertainment. Now, Billy, he's up on the balcony over the top of every, all activity going over on. Over the bar. He's, he's, he's like down a bad there playing. We can't keep. We can't get rid of him, man. He's been around for 20 years now. He's and he does the yeah, best western music. Yeah, he's not going to get rid music, of me. All to, kind of good western music. See, you know, if the food's not very good that night, we kind of we we we, we uh, what do you call it? We uh, blame it on me. Exactly. We sidetrack them with the music. <laughs> as long as they enjoy the music, they enjoy the food. <laughs> well, I had a good time with the music and the food both. So. I hey, highly well, recommend go out there and get you a piece of steak and listen to Billy sing a good song. Hey, yeah, we, hand in hand these yes, sir. We want to invite everyone that's watching this to come out at 4610 Shaw Road, Toler, Texas. Ah, is it all over? All over. Is they all dead? They's all dead. Well, what's the color of blood? Well, it's bright red, son. Hey, everybody. I'm John Demers, and I'm a radio host in, in all over Texas, Houston, Austin, Dallas, and uh, also a cookbook author. So um, when I heard about this National Day of the Cowboy, it kind of appealed to me on a couple of different levels. I mean, one is that I love Texas food, and, and Texas food is all about tradition, and one of those traditions, maybe even the biggest tradition in Texas food, is the cowboy. And then also just a chance to come someplace new that I'd never been. I've actually never been to Granberry before, and uh, for years I've been hearing about it. You know, more and more visitors come here than ever before, and so I was kind of like, hmm. So we got Granberry, a place I've wanted to go. We have the National Day of the Cowboy tell, talking about stories that I want to hear, and then I bet somebody will feed me if I show up. So um, it's really been a great few days here in the Granberry area and all around. I mean, going out to a winery here and there, going to the new Revolver Brewery. Uh, I do like beer, I have to admit, which I think also qualifies me as an honorary cowboy. And then especially coming here to Rio Brazos, it's just an incredible facility. I mean, I'm looking forward to eating in a little while, but so far I'm just really impressed by the stage, by the atmosphere, and by the fact that, you know, it's preserving a lot of Texas history, culture, and tradition that otherwise we might not have. And, and you know, that's something we want to do here in Texas. So, you know, anybody who's looking for something fun to do, come on over to Rio Brazos and wait around a year at a time for the National Day of the Cowboy because it's a great day. But I do have one little favor I'd like to ask. Could you tell us when the next train from Abilene's coming in with all those good looking cowboys? Just let that come in about 6 or 5 this evening. 